Hey y'all, it's Gord here, your hurting hippie, with another coffee break session. How are y'all? Today, I'm going to start something new if I can remember to keep it going because the brain's kind of foggy. Today I'm going to start my coffee break sessions with where I'm sitting mentally and physically. And I would say right now I'm at a 9 pain-wise. My, my pain's huge. Uh, my lower back my whole back and my stomach and my head uh, mentally I'm low physically I'm low pain high uh, not thinking very straight today but I promised I promised something about the the entourage effect about talking about CBD and all the other chemicals involved in cannabis excuse me and how they interact with each other. This is really important. I have spoken about it before, so I want to speak about it again. Also, I will include an article from leafscience.com below where I got some of my information. I've been studying entourage effect for quite a while because I truly, truly believe in it. One thing I want to say is I'm trying to I'm trying to do this my friends my 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 concentration even though I have CBD in me is really bad today I want to read this to you marijuana unlike modern-day medicine contains a wide range of chemical compounds scientists have studied over 60 unique molecules in cannabis known as cannabinoids which include THC and CBD many other non cannabinoids Cannabinoid compounds are produced by the plant and also have regulatory effects. For example, terpenes, the molecule responsible for the smell and flavor, have been shown to block some cannabinoid receptors in the brain while promoting other cannabinoid binding in others. As a result, terpenes are believed to affect many aspects of how the brain takes in THC and CBD while offering therapeutic benefits of their own. In fact, while THC has gotten most of the attention, studies suggest that many of its compounds in marijuana work together to produce a synergy of effects known as the entourage effect. Now, it's really important to understand that in a strain, most strains have many, many different attributes, not just the cannabinoids. Yes, there is CBD, CBG, CBN, CBD. Uh, there is THC, THCA, THC, Delta 9. There is so many different cannabinoids, but there are also terpenes, ketones, esters, lactones, alcohols, fast fatty acids, and yes, steroids. All of these work together making every toke different from every plant. In other words, m marijuana is made up of thousands of different chemicals that work together to produce some general effect. Now, I'm not going to go too long on this because I'm going to attach this article and you can read it. But I want to give a really good example of a study that's here where they gave people straight THC just distillated THC and the high was described by one person as feeling like I was going to a funeral then they gave THC with CBD and a few other chemicals and the person just kept on laughing and having a fun fun time Another really good example is back in 85, pharmaceuticals companies developed Marinol, uh, a derivative of only the THC to help people with chemotherapy. Almost all users of Marinol said, I'd rather smoke the plant, it helps more. Why? Because there's other chemicals involved. CBD works better when THC is present. It bumps up its abilities. CBD also takes away the hard, anxious highs that some THC can cause and brings a much calmer experience. So 
although I appreciate THC distillates and pure THC, I promote full plant health. Full plant, therefore, the entourage effect. As promised, I said I would do it. Um, can't remember who asked for it, but brought to you, Entourage Effect. Peace and cheers. Love and harmony. And excuse the mess today. I'm in too much pain for a shower. I'm going to have a bad hair day. It's minus 29 outside. It is cold. I can go nowhere. My truck won't start. It's a hibernate day. No sense in getting all cleaned up. Peace and cheers. Love and harmony.